So 2020 has been a very challenging year for all of us. I think all of us in some way have been impacted by COVID-19. Some have lost family members, some have lost jobs, their income, or struggled with providing childcare um, for their children while um, schools were closed down. So we've certainly seen an impact here at the Wichita Falls Area Food Bank. Um, when the pandemic hit mid-March, early April, we actually got down to about two weeks worth of food in our warehouse. And when I say food, it was really more like snack items. And so it was very scary to figure out how we were gonna be able to meet the need in, in our community. But thankfully we had some foundations that stepped up and as always our community rallied around us. They made sure that we had the food to feed our neighbors in need and we could not have done it without them. We went from distributing about 37,000 pounds a week to now 114,000 pounds a week. We've already distributed over a million pounds more this year than we did all of last year, and the need continues to increase. It, it's been a scary time, but our employees have been so resilient. Our partner agencies have been so resilient. They are out there on that front line every day working to make sure that those that need food are getting it. Um, we are so thankful for our partnership with United Regional Healthcare. We work with them on our mobile pantry program. They provide two full-time CDL drivers and they also um, purchase the food for six of our sites. But as we have gone through this pandemic, we've had to add five additional sites just to try to help the meet, meet the need. And as I said, the need is increasing. So unfortunately right now, as we go out on these distributions, Instead of taking one truck, we're taking two, and sometimes we're still running out of food. It's just hard to predict the need. But I can tell you, we're seeing a lot of new faces. Some are the same, but people are struggling, and they are so thankful and so grateful for everything that we are able to give them. And so it's just so heartwarming. And when we're not in an outbreak like we are right now, United Regional is on site and they're doing health screenings to try to prevent people from getting sick with blood pressure checks and glucose checks. So it's just a really amazing partnership and we're so thankful to have had that during the, the pandemic. Um, we've also continued our childhood hunger feeding programs. We're so thankful for those. We know that our children were struggling before the pandemic and families were struggling to feed them. So it's been really nice to be able to have the some extra money from some foundations to put extra food in the bags just because for some of these kids when they get their power pack bag on Friday, it may be the only food they receive till they return to school on Monday. And those that receive the hot meals through Kids Cafe, it may be the last meal that they receive until they return to school the next day. We've also during this time seen an incredible need for volunteers to make sure that we can pack the boxes that we need. Uh, as the food supply chain backed up, pre-packed boxes that we would get for the mobile pantry were no longer available. We had mobile pantry sites that went from having 25 to 30 individuals to having two to 300 uh, individuals show up. So these volunteers have been instrumental in packing these boxes and coming to the distribution sites and making sure that we were able to take care of our community. So however you helped us this year, whether it was through a monetary donation, a food donation, volunteering, or maybe you just heard something on the news and you advocated for us. We just wanna say thank you for helping the Wichita Falls Area Food Bank. When I started in February, COVID wasn't around. You know, I never heard the word COVID and everything was 120 boxes. When COVID hit, it was 270, 300, 350. So the number's been higher and to us it's good and it's nice because we have a lot of work. You know, we enjoy it. We're, we have a lot of fun doing this and it's work. You know, we like working. Um, a lot of people come and you have people coming in and you don't think about it when people say thanks or thank you, but when they say thank you very much, thank you so much, uh, thank you for all your help, it, it really makes a difference when people say that to you. It, it's real nice when people tell you, hey, you're doing a good job at your, at your work. You know, just a little bit of words of help a lot, especially it just gives us another day, hey, we got to keep going, we got to keep working. Um, but a lot of people are real nice to us. They come in, get their food, and everybody's smiling. When we hear uh, new people and new families, we treat them just like everybody else. They're all new to us. Uh, we're there to help them. 
That's, that's one of the key things they told me when I first started at Food Bank. Remember this is work, but you're always helping somebody to get food. And I always take that in my mind that they're right, you know, you're always helping somebody and giving somebody to, to eat that, that night, get a meal. But uh, new people, they come in and it's a lot of new people that we've seen and a lot of new faces. And sometimes I, I think, with, with my case, it's, it's you're embarrassed to ask for food. Nobody wants to ask for food, but the food bank is real good with that. And we, don't, we treat everybody the same. Good morning, how, how you doing? Have a good day. And here's your box, you know, with manners. Not too long ago, you know, um, I had COVID. You know, you start getting scared because what is this thing? What is COVID? And am I going to work? Am I going to be able to help out? The bills don't stop coming in. You know, you, it's bills after bills and you're human. You got to work. Where you, and the food bank gladly with, with, with smiles asked me, do you need food? And again, I was a little embarrassed to ask, but that's what the food bank's for. Don't be, don't be scared. Don't be embarrassed. Everybody, you know, greets you with welcome hands. Everybody's nice, and you're always gonna get food. So no matter what, if you're if you're in need, come and get food. It's it, thank you for all your food that y'all donate, and uh, um, we take care of it. You know, we distribute it. But uh, thank you for everybody that donates. I want everybody to know how good the food bank has been to me. I'm a diabetic. I'm a heart patient and other health problems and, and on Social Security. And because of that and the food bank helping me, I'm able to stay on my diets more, you know, efficiently. And it has been a blessing. I've had close friends that have really, really been sick with it. And it takes months to get back. I have met some of the most wonderful people through the food bank. Some that I call dear friends. Whether it's the drivers, you know, the truck drivers or the office or whatever. And everybody needs to be appreciated. The food bank is vital. Hi, my name is Brooks Kane and uh, I'm a employee at Floral Heights United Methodist Church as the hospitality director. And Right about uh, the time that we had the COVID shutdown, we started an idea that was planted back in January about providing a lunch uh, to our neighborhood. And with the COVID shutdown, that kind of sped up the process. And we started March 24th and opened the doors. We served about 130 lunches that very first day and just continued to grow ever since. Uh, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, we served uh, about 430 lunches. Um, as it stands right now, we have served approximately over 20,000 lunches since March. We rely extremely heavily on the food bank. I cannot imagine how many people uh, are just in such a need right now with the COVID uh, shutdown that, that happened, jobs lost, uh, housing, housing becoming very difficult to maintain, uh, the, the stories that we hear every single Tuesday and Thursday uh, is devastating and a blessing all at the same time. Um, Everybody that comes is so appreciative. They just have such um, a gracious heart to be able to ask for help. Every single Tuesday and Thursday, we have new people showing up uh, that didn't know that we were offering this program, asking who it was for. And yes, we get a lot of new people pretty much every Tuesday and Thursday. We have a set group of regulars that I have gotten to know since March. Um, and I continue to uh, hear about their lives and their stories, but the new people that we get um, are just blown away. Well, I try to be sure the people that don't have transportation get their food picked up and delivered to them. I even pick them up, some of them, and take them out to get their food. And I think the project is a good project because a lot of people are facing hard times with utilities going up, rent sky high, but money is not raising. So for the means to meet, if they receive these meals, they can kind of even it out. And we try to make all the, all the um, donations and trips 
when the food banks come in and try to encourage them to stock their stuff up and hold on to it because we don't know if it's gonna get worse or not. But this is the times now that you better take everything serious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know anyone? I have a friend that's been infected with COVID and I just didn't help her and waited on her and stuff until she recovered. She was badly affected. She was away from home and couldn't get back home until <clears throat> the doctor seemed time to release her. Uh-huh. Well, I would like to thank everybody that's having the heart to give and share because this is the time that we're to come together. We're needed as one. The kids being out of school and stuff, the food picks up for the loss of them not eating at school. And the fruits and vegetables and things that give them is real healthy for the kids and we really appreciate it. Um, this program is the Power Pack program. And uh, what we do is we deliver uh, the power pack bags, little snack bags, to uh, all the elementary schools. And uh, it pretty much, uh, most if not all schools in the Wichita Falls area, um, City View, Burke Burnett, um, and several of the surrounding counties. Um, we've been doing about, uh, I'd say right now, about a thousand bags a week. And uh, so we get out quite a, you know, quite a few bags uh, to the kids that are in need. And uh, I would say, um, our numbers seem to have gone down a little bit. They seem to steadily be going up since the summer. Now, during the summer when the COVID first hit, we were doing uh, some weeks over 3,000 bags to uh, the schools that were doing the grab and go meals. So we were, we've been doing quite a few bags. And uh, you know, each bag uh, gets handed out on Fridays to the kids that are in the program. Um, there's uh, different things in each bag, like uh, you know, anywhere SpaghettiOs, milk, juice, Cereal, cereal bars, uh, trail mix, um, just a variety of things. So, these kids are in need. I get, you know, even when when COVID wasn't uh, wasn't around. So, especially now, I, I know families are hurting, and uh, you know, and, I, and uh, you know, just delivering and and to the different schools and teachers and and you know, students are always thanking me and 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 saying how much it helps. So, you know, it makes it makes it worth it time and time again you know I, I deliver every day to all the schools and uh, you know I'm, I'm constantly being told you know what a good thing it is and, and you know how much it's helping these kids and uh, so it's it's a uh, it's a really really awesome program so um, absolutely thank you to everyone that donates to our program because uh, it does go a long way it's helping a lot of kids um, you know we do have a lot of volunteers that uh, come in and and help uh, pack the bags for us because like I said we are doing a, a significant amount of bags each week so you know we're always welcoming volunteers to come in and help pack bags we can always we can always use you so uh, once again thank you to everyone that, that has helped and uh, you know uh, we're we're always looking for more help so um, yeah this is the uh, the other program that's uh, part of our uh, child hunger department it's our kids cafe and we have several sites that uh, are after school programs, um, Campfire, of course, uh, Southside Youth Center, and the Wichita Falls Boys and Girls Clubs, and also the Burke Boys and Girls Club. Um, and every day, uh, I guess, after school programs. So uh, I pick up the meals from the kitchen. The, you know, the, the clubs let us know how many meals they need, and uh, it may vary day to day. But uh, we have the, the kitchen makes the meals for us and uh, I pick them up every day and uh, drop them off with the clubs. Um, I have uh, I've been doing this for about a year and I, I really enjoy it. Just uh, like I said, you know, um, just the people and uh, the, the kids, you know, uh, you know, I, they just always seem grateful and, and seem to really like it. So. My name is Tyler Gilmore. I am the program director here at Southside Youth Center. Um, the Food Bank Kids Cafe program has been assisting us with making sure our kids go home with a hot meal. Um, they come in from school, they eat here, and then at the end of the night, we go home as a staff. We know that our kids have been fed and they, we know they're not going home and going to bed on an empty stomach. I used to teach health and wellness at John Tower and I could tell the kids who didn't eat and 
behavior issues and attention deficit issues happen so much more when they're hungry than when they have a meal. So They're more excited. The kids that I see, they're more excited when we show up and they're always like, you know, what are we having today? So, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I see more, more of the, the excited side of the kids. You know, like I said, they know who I am when I, when I show up and, and what I'm bringing. So, um, you know, it's always nice to see them. We don't go through um, and do a needs interview with the parents or anything, but we can tell which kids this really does benefit. And without it, we really don't know what we would be doing. If we get somebody knocking on the door looking for a meal, we'll, we'll provide that meal to them if we have it. These kids need as much as they can get and they need help as much as they can. So many years ago, I was um, married and uh, to a gentleman in the Air Force and we were stationed at Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi. And I'd always worked, I'd worked since I was 15 years old. I didn't come from a lot, but um, I knew the power of a dollar and, and, and the value of a dollar. So I was always working. Um, and we were stationed there for his tech school. And we were there for about seven and a half months. And during that time, it was really hard for me to get a job. As soon as they would see our address was on base, they immediately just kind of disqualified me from applying for or, or even getting an interview for that position. And we very quickly ran out of money. And I was desperate. I didn't know what we were going to do for food. We were at the point where we were literally out of food. So I looked in the yellow pages and I found a food pantry and I went to see them. They welcomed me with open arms. I was given two big bags full of food to take home that day and they gave me a big hug and I, can, I remember crying in the office and going, I can't believe I've had to come to the food pantry and they said, we see people every day who are in your same situation and it made me realize everyone is just one thing, one, one event, one circumstance away from needing help and I vowed from that point on that I was going to try to give it back, you know, pay it back, um, help any way I could. And um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to help and serve on the food bank board now. And I support the food bank financially, monetarily, and with my time, um, because it's very important to me. And I think the pandemic has pointed that out more than ever. You know, that, that idea that I learned that we're all one thing away from needing some help, we've seen the need expand tremendously across the country for food and in light of this pandemic um, people are finding that they don't have savings and they don't have um, ways to really make ends meet anymore and so getting food from a food pantry is the difference between having food on their table and being able to have electricity we're really excited and grateful for the support that our local community has given us, but the need is not going to go away and it's only going to increase. So anything that our community can do to help give back, whether it be hosting a food drive, volunteering, donating your money, whatever you can do to help support us is actually supporting your neighbors, those people who are finding themselves in that position of that one circumstance, that one thing that they never thought that they would be in need, but they're finding themselves in need. You help your families, you help the neighbors, you help the kids in our communities feel a little bit more secure as they try to get through this pandemic. We are the Wichita Falls Area Food Bank. 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 We are the Wichita Falls Area Food Bank.